Hey photographers, this is John with School Prints by Nations Photo Lab. It's a live Facebook video. We're gonna just go through School Prints rows pretty quickly here and uh, just show you guys some of the basics and uh, just a few other features in School Prints rows. So you can see on my screen here, we have School Prints rows right now. And if you go to schoolprints.com, you can download this. It's free. It only takes a minute to download. You can also sign up for an account there if you don't have one. As you can see, when you get to this screen here, I'm already logged in, so you have to enter your account number here and your password, and then you just log in. You would go to either start ordering, or you can jump right into one of the catalogs here. I'm gonna go into start ordering. And you can see that here, there's other catalogs here. You have color adjusted, metallic, metallic color adjusted, glossy, uh, and we have specialty products as well. If you've never ordered from us before, then I highly recommend ordering evaluation prints to start. So why don't we take a look at that really quick. And you can see you can get up to five eight by tens for free. We ship these for free as well. And we'll color correct these and also send you copies with no corrections. Now, if you see here at the bottom, I have thumbnails of photos here. I got those up here on the screen by clicking this green plus sign and it just browses your computer and you go into the different folders that you want to access the images the images that you're going to use to place the orders you just browse the computer and find those and that's how I opened up these uh, thumbnails here and these images so these are local to my computer here there's no uploading necessary or anything like that so when you're in uh, the evaluation prints catalog you just simply click on a tab here 8x10 evaluation prints and you can see it's zero dollars and now I have a template up on the screen here it does have a watermark on it and then you just locate the images that you want to place orders for so we can go ahead and the drag and drop program or you can double click so I drag and drop this image in here I can move it around with this hand here a little hand icon until I like the crop and I can click the add to order button which is or add to cart button which is hiding if it moves these windows sometimes and click add to cart and I can continue adding images here until I have the five images that I want to see, or that I want prints of. You can also rotate your image, or the, excuse me, you can rotate the uh, template or the image. To rotate the image, you select the image and look for these arrows here. And you can zoom in and zoom out using your mouse or the zoom bar right here add to cart and then you can see I already have four items in my shopping cart and my total is zero and we'll go ahead and add one more so when I go into my shopping cart I can see what I've ordered I have five items in the cart right now zero dollars and then I have some um, options here at checkout as well you can leave special instructions or you can use this as an order reference now when you place a lot like an order that you be paying for you're going to see a lot more options uh, for example you'll see envelope packaging back printing things like things like that we'll show you in a second here so that's evaluation prints that's definitely the first thing if you've never worked with us before that'd be the first thing I'd recommend uh, we print on Kodak Endura professional paper and I think you'll really love the quality once you give us a try so this is a great way to just test us out so whether you are looking for a new lab I've uh, never worked with a professional photo lab before or maybe you're ready to switch from your current lab, uh, this is a great opportunity to try that without uh, any risk at all to you. You just place a free order for evaluation prints to start. Now, if we were to go back here to start ordering, I can switch catalogs and show you how to place a regular order. The way that Rose is set up, we have these different tabs along uh, the top here. So you can see we have units which are half units and units and units are basically anything that is a printed on 10 inch photo paper so you take an 8 by 10 four 5 by 5s up on a sheet eight wallets two 5 by 7s on a sheet which would be a 7 by 10 so anything that would be printed on 10 inch paper that's what you would find in units and these are all priced very competitively at 87 cents per sheet and that's with uh, that's the non-color adjusted catalog if we were to color correct them then it would be a dollar twelve per sheet. So let me show you real quickly. You can just kind of look around here and look at the different options we have. 
And if there's something that you don't see that you know in here, and you'd like us to add it, we're always open to adding new sizes. We just added some new sizes to the a la carte section here. We had some requests for more panoramics, so we added more panoramic sizes in here, and these are priced very competitively as well. These are great for um, sports panoramics. We also have create your own templates, and then we have different memory mates. We have uh, champion digital design memory mates. And you can see the different options here, different colors. So definitely take the time to look through this to see what you'd want to use for your leagues. These are completely customizable with the text. You can change text color. Um, there's all sorts of different text and font options over here um, on the different product options, image coloration. Uh, when I click on a text box, you can see that you can type in your text here. And you can change your font and you can also change the text color. And one of my favorite parts here is the, uh, the color picker option. So if I sample a color here, I can match that color. And you'll, so if I'm trying to match a uniform or something, I can do that. Uh, wrong sport, but let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. So we'll do text color, sample. Let's say I want to match his uniform. There you go. That's a pretty neat feature. Let's jump around here and go back to the units. Now there's some other videos you can access where we show you how to create packages. I definitely recommend checking those out. You can find the videos embedded here in rows or you can also check out our YouTube page. Just uh, search for school prints videos or school prints plus YouTube and you'll find all of our videos there. And we also have some other templates in here. We have photo buttons, keychains, magnets, trader cards. Uh, this is definitely ideal for the sports and school photographers for volume photography. Let's go ahead and make a package real quick. I'll show you what that looks like. So first thing you want to do when you're creating a package is click the activate package creator. That allows us to add multiple templates into, uh, into the screen here and then save them as our favorites. So right now I have, let's just start over here, we're going to add an 8x10 by clicking on the 8x10 product. Now let's go ahead and add four 4x5s. Now be careful here, you don't want to just click on it, you want to click and drag. So I'm dragging this four 4x5s product. Now I have two units in my package. Let's go ahead and add eight wallets. Now let's say you wanted 16 wallets. You would, instead of adding two templates, we'll go ahead and change the quantity. So if I go down here to new package, because I haven't named it yet, there's a drop down menu right here. I can click on my eight wallets and I can type in two. So now you can see it says QTY2 for the eight wallets. Everything else remains at quantity one. Now if I'm happy with my package, I can go ahead and save that. You can see I can grab these crosshairs and move these around all I want. You can move the windows around. It's really up to you how you want to customize what, how your viewing is. And once I'm happy with that, you can always change these too later on. You can save these and resave them. So what I'm going to do now is save this as a favorite. So I just have to click on the heart with the plus sign. And you can see I have a lot of other packages here. So if I click here, it's going to ask me to name it. There we go, there's my package. So let's see if I can go to a different package here. You can see that. Let's go back to the one we just made. And then if I double click, my image goes right into all three products. You can also break these and separate them if you want to do multi pose or if you want to do groups. So I can show you that looks like really quick. So let's say we have the individual, but we also want to order a group for him. Maybe he only has two pictures of the individual and one of the group, then all we have to do is click individual. Right now it's default to copy image, let's do individual. This is one way to do it, there's multiple ways. And then we can just drag and drop that, rotate it. So now I have a package that includes the team photo and still has the individuals. This is definitely going to save you a lot of time instead of ordering these one at a time. So I'll click um, add to cart. 
And if you want to keep this that way, where this one, these are separated, you want to save it. So you click the heart and the arrow, and that will save the changes to the favorite. Another way to do that is to um, uncheck this little blue chain right here. So let me go back to copy image. And you can, you get a little more control here when you uncheck this blue chain. So now I can crop this the way I want versus this one is being controlled uh, together. Or I can, let's say it's a sibling photo, so I want to order siblings in one package. And I can drop a different image in there. So that's how easy it is to make a package. And there, there's definitely a lot more things that you can do to customize these. This is just a really basic example. But a lot of photographers that have used this have really saved a lot of time instead of ordering these individually. A lot of um, even photographers that have used rows don't realize that this and other great options exist to save you time. So that's what we're here for. We can help walk you through those. Sometimes we'll uh, talk to customers and we'll actually look at their ordering process and find ways to save them time based on how they're doing it right now. So that was our short live video for the night. Appreciate you guys if you had tuned in. Appreciate that very much. And this video will be posted on Facebook and then we're going to go ahead and post this at our YouTube page as well. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, have a great night.